at Scythio, a mistake is being corrected. These are androids, creatures without minds, without souls, indestructible, the servants of people betrayed by their own creation. Gentlemen, what I'm about to do is for all mankind. As you know, this is the central power source for all the androids. The men and women of our worlds have grown useless, stagnant, without ambition. Possessed of servants that need no food or rest, human beings do not struggle. Progress ceases as the sense of accomplishment dies. Without this sense of fulfillment, human beings are no better than these things they have created. Therefore, we, the representatives of all the planets, have all taken the vow never to reveal the three secrets of the use of androids. The location of the volts throughout the universe, the frequency readings to which the androids are attuned, and most important, the location of this, the central power source. Gentlemen, the future of humanity depends upon our keeping that vow. I substituted myself for one of the androids and gained... Never mind all that. What have you learned? I know all three secrets of the androids. First, the location of the vaults. There are android vaults on Earth, Saturn, Uranus, Livy, Scythio, Minos... What is that android doing there? It should be back in the vault. I don't understand it. I'm sure I saw five androids in the vault. No one is to go back into that vault except in my presence. We will carry it in, King Lazarine. I shall accompany you. Clias and Delio. The frequency length of the androids is in the delta spectrum. Zyn, Omega, Zyn, Omega, Cosine, Epsilon. The location of the power source. The location of the power source. Who is this? Someone has learned all the secrets. Only two. They did not learn the location of the power source. Without that knowledge, all other is useless. No one need know of this. I understand. And so the secrets of the androids were kept. Now, over 400 years later, in the year 3061, three men, each a member of the Galaxy Bureau of Investigation, know the secrets, and each knows only one. Commander Richards, who knows the locations of all the android vaults throughout the universe, Dr. Zarkov, who knows the android frequency readings, and Flash Gordon, who holds the key, the vital secret of the location of the power source. the Galactic Council and refuse to appear before them to answer any such ridiculous charges. But you must answer to the Galactic Council, Queen Pugia. The GBI has received reliable information that you've signed a mutual assistance pact with the renegade planet Petura. The GBI is mistaken. That's hard to believe since I find one of Petura's best known agents in your throne room. Tridorn is nothing but a personal friend. There are some friends that it is better not to have, Queen Pubia. I will select my own friend, Dr. Zarkov. Not this time. Tridorn is an outlaw. Only the fact that this is your throne room prevents me from arresting him. 
I'll give you five minutes to make up your mind, Queen Fuvia. Either you order Tridon off your planet and return with me to appear before the Galactic Council, or I'll have Scipio declare to renegade Planet 2. We'll wait outside. I'll have them killed. No, my dear queen. You will need that young fool and his friends. For what? For what they know. The secrets of the androids. Without the androids, our plan to take over the galaxy is doomed from the start. Don't let that hot head of yours ruin everything. You're right as usual, Tridorn. But how do we learn those secrets? That will be my part of the bargain, my queen. Dr. Zarkov, does the planet Scythio mean anything special to you? No. Why does it to you? Tridorn doesn't make any alliance without a purpose. A purpose for the planet Futura. What purpose, Flash? Well, Dale, I'm sure that... Has the Queen made up her mind? Yes. Seize them! Your Majesty. You know what'll happen to you for this, Fubia? I know what's going to happen to you, my handsome blonde friend. Tridorn. Yes, my queen? You're part of the bargain. Fulfill it. Doctor. A centrifugal table. Used to test the effect of a specified number of G's on an android. Or a human being. Strap him on! You know what the force of gravity can mean. Every time you blast off in a rocket, you experience nine Gs. How would you like to experience 15, 16, perhaps 20? Do you think you could survive? What do you want, Tridon? Information. The location of the android power source. Well, my friend, will you tell me the location of the android power source, or must I give you a ride on the merry-go-round? You're a fool. Granting that I know the location, do you think I'd tell you? You are the fool. <laughs> Go ahead! Wait. He won't tell. And we can't afford to kill him. But there is another way. I can give you a kingdom. You could rule Earth. Better. You can rule the universe at my side. Tie him on the table. No, my queen. As you said, if he dies, the secret dies with him. I suddenly have a better idea. I don't think he'll stand silent and watch Earl die. Yes. That will be better. <laughs>
location of the android power source or the girl dies. Don't! Don't tell him, Flash! Well? Still alive. Let me look at her. She's alive. The location of the android power source. If I tell him, Pooby, I warn you, he'll betray you. As soon as he has no further use for Scythial, you'll become slaves to the planet Petura. The power source. Where is it? Send Dale back to Earth. As soon as I hear from Commander Richards that she's safe, then I'll tell you. You take us for idiots. Speak! Then watch the girl die. In an attempt to conquer the civilized galaxies, Fubia, queen of the planet Scythio, and Tridorn, agent of the renegade planet Petura, are trying to learn the secret location of the android power source somewhere on Scythio. Only Flash Gordon knows the location. But Dale Arden will be put to death on the whirling centrifugal table if he does not reveal it. It's no use. They'll kill us all later. Right on. She is alive. Now the location. You got a map of the Scythian Mountains? You find a door overgrown with brush. It leads into the heart of the mountain and the solid cobalt core. Thank you, my friend. You are most cooperative. I hope your information is accurate. I would hate to have to operate my little merry-go-round again. Guard! Take this man to the cell. Try to honor. The universe is ours. Yes, my queen. After a few formalities, like destroying the planet governments and the GBI. Come, my queen. It is not far to the mountains. Dr. Zarkov. Come on. Oh, Flash. 
Uh, Androids. Oh, why did he tell them? They'll just destroy everything in their path. I know. Why did you tell them? I couldn't let you die. It won't do them any good. They don't know the frequency the androids are attuned to. That's true. But they'll just come back for the information when they find that out. Well, maybe by then we'll be ready for them. Uh, Try and get some rest. Here is the first setting for our planet Scythio. Scythio, Gamma 8876 Rho. Gamma 8876 Row. be mad. There are no more androids. Commander, I can see them. You never told me how you learned these frequency readings and the location of the android vaults. Years ago, a Praetorian spy learned two of the android secrets. Before he was killed, he managed to relay them. But not the third secret. The location of the power source. Only Flash Gordon knew the location of the power source. Well, where is he? We haven't been able to make contact with the Sky Flash for several hours. He was on a mission to Scythio, and Scythio doesn't answer. Fine, Gordon. 
I'll find him. And when I do, he'll answer to the Galaxy Council for this. Androids, attention on all planets. Destroy. Androids, on all planets, advance on the city. Androids, take the communication centers. Uranus. You mean it, that's not answer, sir. Earth androids, attack the GBI. Earth androids, attack GBI headquarters. Androids, attack GBI. Get me Saturn. Saturn does not answer, sir. What about the three prisoners? I'm sure the android we sent is disposed of them. Uh. They'll break in in a few minutes, Commander. That's no use, sir. Ray guns on the top. Something only you can give me. Your abdication. My ab... You filthy traitor! Androids, take her! No! No, traitor! Stop it! Traitor! Stop it! Accomplish your mission. Stand by for further orders. Stand by and wait for further orders. Gordon, stand back, Clyde. Android. Yeah, you know, once and for all, the androids are destroyed. As they should have been 300 years ago when the androids were outlawed and this their power source was turned off. Well, we better get back to the sky flash and notify Commander Richards that the androids will never return. <laughs> 